Welcome back to week nine of Retro Bowl QB mode as we came off quite a dramatic matchup against North Carolina. Coming in during the game, down by three scores, winning it, securing our starting job back, which we love to see. Uh, another tough matchup against UCLA that we dominated. Defense really made a lot of plays. But looking at the rest of the schedule, we got Penn State, then a bye week, and then Oregon. Take a look here at the AP poll, sitting at a familiar-ish spot number four as tennessee had a big loss and michigan also lost again oregon sitting at number three with the undefeated ohio state and georgia wrapping up the top two and we play oregon after the bye so that's going to be a tough matchup we pretty much need to win out to make the uh college football playoff at least we have a chance sitting at four is assuming we can continue to win we got a couple tough matchups penn state a 16 playing a four but it's going to be a good one as we will be playing them at home in baton rouge lsu kicking the ball off to start penn state short of the first down 62 yard field goal oh my god what was that they're on their justin tucker shit as uh, john emery with the first reception of the game i can't believe that 60 yard field goal good for you scouts are watching as i was trying to throw the ball not trying to throw the ball i was gonna say trying to run the ball that was kind of ridiculous but that's a nice reception by Keishon butte second and 16 coming off a sack trying to go deep to malik neighbors who makes a skying grab over two penn state defenders quick out here too is that Keishon butte it is toe tapping taking it to the 20 yard line second and two Need the defense to not cause pressure. Offense line holds up, but we miss the mark. As third and two, going to pitch the ball off to Emery. Please split the gap. He does. He makes a couple men dive and miss. Gain of eight. I mean, John Emery always lets me down whenever I give it to him. But, you know, sometimes you just got to switch up the pace. As that's a nice reception by Malik Neighbors. Down to the one-yard line. I'm going to try to make a move. Nothing's open. Winston walking into the end zone. Utilizing the legs. We miss the extra point. Up by three now, Penn State marching back down the field. Defense folding like a lawn chair at the 4th of July cookout. And we are back on offense, down by four as the pressure is looming. But Malik Neighbors makes a nice catch, coming back for the football. First quarter winding to a close. Gonna hand the ball off to John Emery. Gain three, taking it to the end of the first quarter with your LSU Tigers down by four. We got a shot here. Two Malik neighbors on the corner. Streaking down the sideline to the 50-yard line. Handing the ball off to John Emery. Gain of two. Really got to utilize the middle of the field. I hate when Mason Taylor is not out there as the pressure coming off that left side. Mm. Winstead with mm. the wheels. Gain of eight. But yeah, Mason Taylor's got to be on the field. Cannot afford to be one-dimensional as a hitch route. Going to provide very nice utilage. Staying on his feet, I want to say that was Boutte. Quick pass to Neighbors, who drops the ball. Second and 10. Where is Mason Taylor? We need the mismatch on the linebackers, as that's a ridiculous move. Third and two. Over the middle. That's a tough move. That's a tough reception. A tough pass, staying in the pocket. Everything was tough, but we made it happen as John Emery's open. But that's a nice pass. A little laser beam. Keishon Boutte finding the gap. A minute 50 left in the second half, and we're going to, um, first half, and we're going to force a fumble. I can't speak for some reason tonight, as that's a great move by the defense. Incomplete pass, but we're going to be set up here to hopefully rain some more points on this Penn State defense as Neighbors skies up for another reception, taking it inside the red zone. We'll take a shot to the outside here by Boutte. 17 yard game. We got a chance here. We got a chance to make this lead 10 points and we will Mason Taylor. Nice reception. Keeping the offense churning like a well-oiled machine. Defense hold up, please. Zero seconds left over the middle. Roy missed the tackle and we let another touchdown up. Of course. LSU getting the ball to start this second half up by three. So the fumble and the touchdown was a wash as the defense let up another score coming back. And Mason Taylor's on the field. Could not get it to him. He's bracketed by the safety and the linebacker. Third and seven approaching. I got a shot over the middle. Diving reception by Malik Neighbors. We're deep in our own end zone. Usually not this deep. But we're going to have to continue to keep this offense churning. We're going to hope to get some breathing room. As that's a one-on-one -on -one shot to Malik Neighbors. 
cornerbacks just can't hang. They cannot hang with our receivers. We have too many weapons. Especially when they're all disappearing. Going absolutely nowhere as neighbors making so many men miss. He is having himself quite a game. Linebackers are not going to come down. But that's a sailed pass over the top of the receiver's head. Second and 10. Single high look. And that's a one-on-one -on -one shot to the receiver on the cornerback. Neighbors getting hyper-targeted. And I'm not trying to. But it's working. As that's a one-on-one -on -one shot. Linebacker has no idea what he's doing in coverage. Oh my goodness. Mason Taylor, hold on to the football, please. Makes a nice catch, makes a man miss, and the cornerback punches it out. But Gaye with a huge sack, forcing a Penn State punt. Defense making plays. Only allowing 17 points here through the third quarter. As many mistakes as our offense is making, our defense is bailing us out. As pressure is coming up the middle. Oh my goodness, Malik, or Keishon Boutte, I should say, with the strength. Little stiff arm. And he is going to uh, continue to move this ball down the middle of the field as that's a nice pass to Mason Taylor. And get a quick pass, diving reception by Malik Neighbors. Second and eight here. Comeback route, taking time to develop, coming inside, making a man miss. Boutte, who else? I mean, he is insane. Making a nice touchdown grab. And pressure's coming off the edge, and I'm getting sacked for the two-point conversion. Still up by nine. Obviously, I'd like to put the points on the board if you can. Ojolari missing the tackle. Quarterback hands it off. Penn State going to score a touchdown. Up by two here. And we've got uh, we've got to continue to hold on to this lead. As two minutes, 20 seconds is a lot of time for this Penn State offense to have a chance. And a miscommunication on the route. I thought he was coming inside. He didn't. And we got a one-on-one -on -one shot with the receiver. Nice reception by Boutte. Moving it close to the midfield mark. Two minutes left. And a wide open Mason Taylor streaking down the middle of the field. When the linebacker's coming for the blitz, we recognize the blitz, make a quick decision, and uh, hopefully make plays. As bobbing and weaving, Boutte to the 30-yard line. The best defense is a good offense, keeping them off the field. And uh, assuming we can continue to not make turnovers and not make mistakes, should be able to close it out. As that's a nice reception by Malik Neighbors. Taylor laying on his belly like it's a slip and slide. I don't know what he's doing. We got a one-on-one -on -one shot. Please make the catch. Boutte with another touchdown grab here in Baton Rouge. And no good again. Giving Penn State some life as they are going to go down the field. Incomplete. Going for it on fourth down. Making the conversion. Running back going down the field. Please, no. No, why? Two-point conversion. They got stopped. They got stopped. They're going for the onside kick. LSU's going to recover the ball. Oh, wow. I thought they were going to end up scoring and winning the game. Or at least going into overtime. And we skate by by the skin of our teeth. And that's it. That's going to be the matchup. That's going to be the game. Penn State losing to LSU. And we move on to 8-1. and one, Knocking off a, a very impressive team. As one of my most pleased with the win. The team or the coaching. I got to say I was really impressed with the effort from the team. 3-25-5. and five. No interceptions. But we did have a sack. Continuing to make mistake-free football. As we've got a bye week here. For the tough matchup against Oregon and I want to spend some time training with the team or working with my coaches I am going to work with the team continue to get reps in as we're gonna get a couple upgrades one for Mason Taylor and Ali Gaye as we have a very tough matchup playing a one loss Oregon team that is ranked third we are currently fourth it's gonna be the toughest matchup we've had since Tennessee and we all know how that one went I don't want to be reminded but I will see you guys in the next one for week 11 goodbye